Turkish biology books have genitalia replaced with ducklings and dolphins, science knows what dance moves will catch her eye, and Kim Kardashian's ass wins again. Like a loyal trumpeter serving a medieval queen, I'm going to blow my current events horn every time you walk in the room. The barber has been bleeding me to cure my hemorrhoid that's not working. I had more luck with the goat dung and the salamanders news. First up, let's take a trip to Turkey where officials have replaced pictures of genitalia in a standard 6th grade biology textbook with, you guessed it, cute animals. Yes indeed, the Turkish government has been doing their best to promote conservative values for a while now. And by conservative values, I mean face-melting stupidity. Detailed diagrams of the penis and vagina in the textbook have been replaced with pictures of fluffy ducklings, cute polar bears, and a human mother and her baby. Oh, and dolphins. Of course. Really helpful. Apparently, the censorship is heavy and the new curriculum is taught hastily. Ahmed Zahir, professor of biology at Mamara University, said this type of censorship in biology classes does more harm than good to children. Eh? You think so, professor? Zahir is also the senior chair of the Board of Understatement. You're not helping anything, officials. Please stop. Devil's advocate, maybe every region on the planet uses different animals the same way we use the birds and the bees as a euphemism. Time to teach Evrim about the polar bears and the dolphins. Yes, I caught them looking at my fluffy duckling magazines this morning. He's ready. He's ready. So ladies, word to the wise, if you're ever with a Turkish dude and he asks you to show him your baby duckling, there's maybe some cultural sex stuff going on there, so be advised. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, like, like, that's a nice baby duckling. Yeah, now no, spread its beak. Turkey, there ain't nothing shameful about penises and vaginas, okay? Except for maybe Tom's penis. Sorry, buddy, but Mallory from Accounting said it looked like a deflated animal balloon filled with star fruit. Next up, scientists now know exactly what dance moves you should use to attract a lady partner. Uh-huh. All right. I'm very excited. Yes, indeed, a group of evolutionary biologists have decided to focus on types of body movements correlated with high dancing ability among men. Something which apparently translates to being a good mate in the eyes of women. So, get ready to learn how to shake a tail feather, boys. Or, as some fundamentalists call it, going to hell. Don't worry, there's footage. Here's the don't version, so you want to avoid all these moves. Yeah. And here is the do version. Yeah, you definitely want to... Try all of these guys. Just let that wash over you a little bit. Huh, I wonder if most of the subjects were suburban white guys. Still confused? Well, that's okay, because the researchers have broken it down for you. Science humans tell us that your arms don't matter. No, they don't matter. What? I know. Above the head, shoulder level, by your sides, irrelevant. Go crazy, or don't. But torso, head, and neck moves are crucial. So go big, or go home. And switch it up. Use those legs. Speed of leg movements is key particularly bending and twisting of the right knee. Oh man, there's nothing my right knee loves more than bending and twisting on the dance floor. Sounds very reasonable. So at the end of the day, what you want to do is get a nice Carlton going on top, and then abruptly dislocate your knee and get your tibia spinning at about 40 to 45 clicks like a propeller, and then hop back, watch those ladies mouth, and get out your vagina umbrella because it's about to rain labia, my friend. Tonight's forecast is cloudy with a chance of fallopian tube. You can't fight the data, guys. Can't fight, or the rhythm. Get out there and use all those moves. Last up, Kim Kardashian's ass is everywhere. So is her front, again. Yes indeed, Paper Magazine, Jean-Paul Good, and the Empress of Self-Love got together to, as they put it, break the internet. Well, it didn't break, but humans proved once again that the only thing more powerful than human advancement is human regression. Oh, we also landed on a comet moving at 65,000 miles per hour that we've been chasing for a decade with a Spacema ship. That comet is 317 million miles away, and we're riding it now like a pony. But asses are also still here, and the idea of riding them is far more important to us. If you ever needed proof that we're really just animals, this is it. Long story short, less sciencey stuff, and more ass cheeks. You know what? Say what you will about Kimmy, but she knows how to win. She can't be beat. She will soon rule the world. There are supermodels on the planet, guys. There are superhuman models of what we think a perfect human might be. Yeah less popular than KKW. People can't look away from her. She can't lose. Kim Kardashian's backside should be in the list of potential solutions to solving any world problem or emergency. Her front side, a close second. I mean it. If there is a meteor shower or aliens attack, I'm not calling NASA or Euro NASA or the military. I'm calling Kim Kardashian's ass cheeks because they are warm and will keep us safe and they always win. Always. World hunger? Have we tried talking to Kim's ass about it? No, that's okay. Well, keep trying, I'll wait. It's only a matter of time before Kim's ass becomes an emancipated human and is carved into Mount Rushmore just below old Georgie boy there. I surrender. Ask Kardashian, I surrender. It doesn't matter. In any case, 
Here's another fun look at a very naked Kim Kardashian, all oiled up and ready to party with some champagne. Great, very festive. More gratuitous nudity, because humans. Wait till she sees me on the dance floor though, huh? With the old leg spin tibia move. <laughs> Your move, Kanye. That is it for The Dispatch. Share this video immediately, if not sooner, and tell someone with your mouth if you liked it. I'm Mark, and if you're taking a multivitamin and your urine isn't highlight or yellow, then those vitamins aren't working. March down to the pharmacy and demand your money back. Remember to wear white pants and have a big glass of water first. The customer is always right. Heads up, if you miss me between shows, you can follow me on Twitter at MarkBolier1. That's M-A-R-C-B-E-A-U-L-I-E-U-1. -E so get on there and clickety-click. Mallory from accounting said it looked like a blind artist statue of an eel digesting a boomerang. Like an anorexic ferret with alopecia dowsing for water. Like a miniature traffic cone, but oranger. Like a dog dick stuck to your stomach and hairy right to the urethra. Hey babe, hey baby, I know it's only like our second day, but is it cool if you touch my porpoise? I'm gonna spray mist from my blowhole. Come on baby, it's my birthday. <laughs>